Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm talking about a new update for Luminar AI. It is what they call a dot release. It's Luminar AI 1.0.1. So a dot release, which means it's a minor update. There are a whole lot of bug fixes. They say that there are 111 bug fixes across the Mac and Windows platforms. And of course, there are a few other minor cosmetic updates or differences. They're basically around the editing experience and some changes to the user interface. Let's talk about it. Okay, first thing first, this update comes out on Monday, January 25th. So if history is any indication, there may be a bit of a rolling rollout, for lack of a better word. So all I recommend doing is going into your Luminar AI menu and check for updates. That's on a Mac. I believe on Windows, it's maybe in the help uh, window or, or menu and then check for updates. I'm not sure, but... I'm sure you'll know how to do that. The other thing I would recommend is after you update, I recommend uninstalling your plugins for like Lightroom and Photoshop and then reinstalling them. That seems to have been something that has worked well in the past. Let's talk about the changes. The first thing is a very minor cosmetic change, and that is when you click here on the plus to add photos, it actually gives you an icon, an option. Do you want to add a folder or an image? That's slightly different than in the past. Not a major deal, but it's something to be aware of. The second thing is in templates, and that is in for this photo, and by the way, these are some edited photos I was using for a different uh, kind of event, but um, you now have these scrolling arrows so you can scroll over. I think that was a bit of a challenge for users on various platforms because you couldn't do that in the past. I was able in the past with my two finger swipe on a Mac to go like that, but now you have arrows, so that should make that cleaner and easier for all of us. Okay, now let's go to the editing menu. This is the biggest cosmetic change, and what you will find here is that the four categories of tools, Essentials, Creative, Portrait, and Professional are all on one tab. There's now a Tools tab right there, and then you've got Local Masking, and you've got History, which has been moved up. Uh, both of them have been moved up. So that's a cosmetic change. There are no differences in terms of the new tools. To be clear, this is a minor dot release. So everybody's looking for Sky AI with reflections, not in this update. This is a minor dot release, mostly cosmetic and performance related with the bug fixes. This is not a feature update. That would probably be called something like Luminar 1.1 or 1.2. I don't know what they're going to name it, but when that comes, you'll hear about it, right? So just wanted to clarify that there are not new features per se. Um, something to be aware of here on Essentials, they now have put Enhanced AI at the very top. And so they basically move that to the top of the Essentials stack. And again, this is with their emphasis on AI and people to get quick results. My assumption is they put it up here so that you'll see that immediately and potentially start using it. Doesn't really make a difference in terms of performance or anything like that for me. But um, in the past, it was Composition AI, Erase, Light, and then Enhance AI. But again, they move that to the top of the stack. My opinion is they're just trying to get more people to use the AI tools, which is, of course, what Luminar AI is all about. Also notice that these different tools, uh, categories, are color-coded. So Essentials is in blue. You can see Creative is in pink. You get a yellow down here with Portrait, and then you got green for Professional. So it's a good way to kind of visually know what category you're in. Again, just something minor, but I kind of like that. It makes it a little bit easier to tell. And I'm all about separating things with color coding. That helps me just because I'm kind of a visual person. Speaking of cosmetic changes, if you go into the toning tool, which is on Creative, you click on that, you can now see that this has been redesigned to kind of mirror other tools here in Luminar AI in that you have a button for highlights and a button for shadows, as opposed to in the past, you had a little drop down menu. So that's just a, a small minor cosmetic change, but I think it helps. Now, another thing to be aware of is that they added tool tips. These are little, uh, what I call hover to discover. So if you hover over this, for example, uh, it, it now says thumbnail size. If you're in the editing menu, if you hover over this little uh, window, it shows you, it says before and after. Here it says preview, here it says zoom. So they've got these tool tips in place. And in fact, I've got a little screenshot that talks about a lot of them. You can show um, enable or disable filter, you know, things like that. So there's an example of the tool tips that are now in Luminar AI. Again, I call it hover to discover. If you hover over these various things, it will give you some text to indicate what that tool is about. I think that's a nice little bit of help to help people better understand what the different icons mean if they weren't already familiar with them. 
There are also some localization improvements for our friends around the world. So the French, the German, and the Japanese translations have all been improved, which is great for those that uh, may read or speak those languages. So that's really it, my friends. Minor update, very much performance oriented around the fact that there are 111 bug fixes. So lots of different things that are happening kind of under the hood. And I don't have the full list. I've seen a few of them, but there's a lot across the Mac and Windows platforms both. My hope is that it helps you address whatever it may be that you felt need addressing. So lots of bug fixes and some minor cosmetic performance improvements in terms of the UI and things like that. As I said, this actually technically launches on Monday the 25th. Wanted to go ahead and share this video, let you know this is coming. And like I said in the past, it seems like these rollouts have kind of rolled somewhat across the globe where I've seen people in some countries outside the US say, oh, I got it, and they might be a day or two ahead of other people, but I believe it's publicly available on Monday the 25th. That's my quick preview. Just wanted to share some thoughts and some visibility into what the app is gonna look like. Again, don't forget to do your update, and uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, maybe check your plugins and uninstall and reinstall those just in case. That would be for Photoshop, Lightroom, things like that. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching the preview. It's coming. It's fun. I'm expecting hopefully later in the spring that we get the bigger update, which includes like the sky reflections and things like that. But to be clear, I don't have inside information. That's not a public statement from Skyloom. That's me taking a wild guess. We'll see. Fingers crossed. But this is the update that's out now. Go download it. And uh, thanks for watching, my friends. I'll be back soon with more editing videos. Take care of yourselves. Have fun editing. And adios.